I just was basically starving myself to death because food made me hurt and feel so sick. Nineteen-year-old Alex Visca is allergic to the proteins in foods. Just tasting a mouthful can cause extreme nausea, crippling stomach pain, or worse. On a day-to-day -day basis, I can't eat any food because every single food that I've tried um, makes me sick or puts me in anaphylaxis, which is when your body has a systemic reaction and your throat like swells closed and you can't breathe. The only way he can get the nutrition he needs is through a feeding tube directly into his stomach. The cost of his food formula and medications is a staggering $7,000 a month, and there is still no official diagnosis for his condition. It's heartbreaking. As a parent, you want to fix it. You want to find answers. From the time he was really young, as we look back, he had a lot of symptoms. Nausea, stomach pain, headaches, bone pain muscle pain. It's one of the reasons why it was so difficult to pinpoint what was happening with him. At one point he actually was having stomach convulsions so bad that we took him up to primary children's to the emergency room and it just started to progress so that he started to eat less and less food, he started to be sick more, he started to spend days in bed and miss school. And it isn't just food that Alex is allergic to. He also has reactions to perfumes, paints, cleaners and air fresheners. He even had to give up playing saxophone and clarinet, as putting the reeds in his mouth made him ill. It's changed a lot of things for me. I've had to rethink how I'm going to do a lot of things and make it work for me. Alex's parents have taken him to dozens of doctors and specialists who couldn't provide any answers for his mysterious illness. Being undiagnosed is one of the hardest things there is because you have no support group, people don't believe you, they just think you're crazy. You know, he's just resilient from a day to day. He cannot feel well. You know, you wake him up in the morning because he wants to get up and going and some days he just can't get out of bed. For the last couple of years, Alex has been seeing Dr. Gerald Gleick, an expert in allergies and immunological conditions. In terms of the commonness of what Alex suffers from, it is quite rare. I don't think we know how rare. There is another disease which is related, and that's uh, eosinophilic esophagitis, where patients react to foods and get inflammation of their uh, swallowing tube esophagus. There's a great deal of research being done. He now takes a combination of allergy medications, acid reducers, and drugs for mast cell activation disorder. Every two weeks, I get the shots that are called Zoware. It's used to treat chronic hives and asthma chromoin sodium and ketodafin, which are mast cell stabilizers, and the ketodafin's antihistamine. And I'm on the famotidine. I take Hourflex and um, take Benadryl as needed. It overall makes me feel better. Alex gets his nutrients through a feeding tube direct to his stomach and lives off an elemental formula containing no whole proteins. But he tries to keep meal times as normal as possible. I sometimes um, will cook food. I have a girlfriend and I cook for her. I sit at the dinner table with my family and I have my, my tube out and I pour my food in and enjoy the conversation. I've always wanted my family to know that even though I can't eat food, I, I've always wanted them to not like feel super bad. Many of Alex's symptoms are now under control, but the $7,000 per month for his medication and food formula has exhausted his college fund. However, online donations might help him secure his further education and future. My hope is that I can do some programming and be able to get a job from home and eventually get a family. We would hope for a cure or for him to be healthy again. I don't know whether that's a reality or not. Next best case scenario would be to just find the very best way to be able to manage the illness and hope that there are people out there with enough compassion to give him a chance. After being on some medications and being able to have more of a life again, I'm grateful that I have what I have.